until now we have seen what is the advantages and also what are the disadvantages right of your AI pair programmer now we will see how to set up this github copilot and also how to integrate with your IDEs like STS and VS Code. So first we'll see how to set up this GitHub Copilot on the GitHub. So for that, I am opening my Google Chrome. We have to go for our GitHub. So once you go or sign into your GitHub account, right? Here in the profile, click on your profile and you can able to see here your Copilot, right? You have this your copilot option. If you click here, here I got this information for but you it will ask you to sign in and also provide your billing information. So for me, I have already done the thing. I have already given my credit card and signed into my GitHub copilot. So for you, it will open in thing like it will ask you for sign in. And once you sign into your GitHub Copilot, it, it will ask you for your credit card, right? And the first month you will get a free trial. So once you provide all these details and you will get a screen like this. And here you can able to see, right? Set up Copilot in few steps. And you, here you can select your A, uh, IDEs like Visual Studio Code, JetBrains, Vim or NeoVim. So once you click on your Copilot here, it will navigate to a page where you have to enter your details. Once you have entered your details, it will ask the billing information. Once you given your credit card and select your free trial, then you, you then you are okay, right? Then you are okay and you can able to continue. And in future, if you want to cancel, you can cancel the plan by going here. And uh, I think you will have an option to cancel. Yeah, here you have cancel trial, right? You can cancel the trial. Okay, so like that, you can leverage your GitHub Copilot. Okay, so once your setup is completed, your GitHub Copilot setup is completed, we should go to our IDEs. Like, so most of the Java developers use SDS or Eclipse, both are same, right? So, first, we'll see the GitHub setup, right? It's completed, and after that, we'll see how to set up for. STS or Eclipse. So I think STS or Eclipse both are same. So I'm using my STS. Okay. So how to add your GitHub Copilot to your STS? So for that, open your STS, that is your Spring Tool Suit, and go to your Help section here. In the Help section, just select your Eclipse Master Place or Marketplace. And inside the Eclipse Marketplace, right? It will take few minutes to load based on your network bandwidth. So wait for some time. And yeah, so it's open. So here in the Find section, you just search GitHub and wait for some time, right? It will show what are the things available for GitHub, and you type Copilot also. GitHub Copilot, and yeah, this one. So this guy is already installed for me. So for you, if it is not installed, just click on install button. You will get some installing options. Just select everything and install your GitHub Copilot to your favorite Spring Tool Suite. Okay. So once you installed and if the installation was successful, you will get a symbol like this. Okay. So if you get this symbol and also here it will ask you sign into your github copilot so currently it is asking for me to sign out right that means i was already signed in to my account so if you want to sign into your account just click here you will get that sign in option just click here and sign into your github account and if you enable your github copilot right using my previous steps which i mentioned you can able to use your github copilot here so here we have only enabled github copilot we don't have any options to github chart Okay, that is one thing. And if you want to set up, not for the STS, for example, you have VS Code, right? VS Code is the best thing I would suggest to uh, set up. So I have my VS Code. So I'm going to open my VS Code. So I am opening my VS Code and I'm clearing all my previous stuff which are not required, right? Uh, I'm closing this folder also. 
So this is my VS Code. So in this VS Code, if you want to install GitHub Copilot or GitHub uh, Copilot Chart, here you will have two options. The one option is, I won't say two options, you will get two features. Because this VS Code is better, I'm hoping the GitHub Copilot will integrate with both the features in other IDEs also. For example, STS has GitHub Copilot, but we don't have GitHub Chart, Copilot Chart. So chart is very necessary, I would say. And also other ID is also missing this, but only Visual Studio Code, we have that feature. So here, what we are going to do is, first thing you are going to install the GitHub Copilot extension. For that, you, you have to go to your extension section, right? In the extension section, search for GitHub Copilot. And once you search for GitHub Copilot, the first two things, if you see, right, the GitHub Copilot, your A pair programmer, you just sell it and install it. So I have already installed it. And the next one is the GitHub Copilot chart. Here also you just sell it your GitHub Copilot chart and install it. That's it. You are ready with your GitHub Copilot in your VS Code also, right? Here you are getting two options one is github copilot and another one is github copilot chart so that is very fascinating right for sts we are missing this feature but fine we are good with it now we have seen vs code also so we have seen how to set up github by going to the github and setting up your github copilot and also we have covered the sts or eclipse how to enable your sts github copilot in your sts even the same applicable for the Eclipse also and the VS Code. So even VS Code, you go to your extensions and search for GitHub Copilot, enable your GitHub Copilot and GitHub Copilot chart. Okay, so we are done with our setup. Now we will see few slash expressions. So this is basically for when you are using VS Code, right? When you are using only GitHub chart, Copilot chart. If you are not using GitHub Copilot chart, uh, for example, STS, this won't be helpful for you but yeah just remember these are only applicable for vs code and you have these expressions like you have one annotation like workspace so inside your workspace you can explain fix document test and new new notebook for vs code itself we can use the search api for terminal we can use help and clear yeah so just just remember these things we will see them in action soon